for a real Highland treat out there in TV land? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, just mm -hmm. point the remote at yourself, Woody, and follow me into Butter Scotchy Land. <laughs> Monday night's munchies. <laughs> Tuesday night's temptation. Wednesday night. <laughs> it's Thursday night and I'm all out of butter, scotchy finger pies. What'll I do? <laughs> oh man, come to Woody. Welcome to Cash and Dash. He is Nash. He is Lash. And, and that's, that's no, no trash. trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Woody. Ring me up. Heck, that don't rhyme. Uh, I is forgot my money. This is Nash and Lash's cash and dash. Not BB's freebies. Not Barry and Larry's take whatever you can carry. Not everything you see here is yours just because you wanted it to heck with anybody else, mister. Lash? Yeah, Nash? That didn't rhyme. Coffee's backing up. Hallelujah. Cha-cha-cha. I can practically taste those butterscotchy finger pies already. Hello, Woody. Ah, the sweet sound of my money. What is your pin number? Oh, keep it up and you're gonna get the old one, two, three. One, two, three is incorrect. Wait, that's not my number. Your card is being voided. I'm afraid I can't do that, Woody. Scotty finger pie. Look, 
Wally. I gotta have this butterscotchy finger pie. I'll give you five, ten, twenty dollars for it. This one is mine. Got it? Yeah, okie dokie, sure. Crazy woodpecker. Butterscotchy finger pie, here I come. Drink. I need a drink. and rented the treehouse to him. I'm Nicky Nicknacker. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm ready to sign your lease, dear lady. If only you behave more like this sweet debonair fellow, you might still be my tenant. But since you are nowhere near as cultured and refined, you're out of here. O-U-T! Do you hear me? Out! Dear Meanie, now that the lease is signed, could you possibly see your way clear to lend me a mere morsel of food to tide me over until I'm settled in? Anything. What would you like? Oh, heavens. Just some soup, perhaps? One soupy doopy for my Nicky Wicky. And oh, I don't know, perhaps an egg? There we go! You know, it occurs to me, I could use a couple of ten, a hundred, uh, I mean thousand dollars. Yes, ten thousand would spot me nicely until the banks open on Monday. Oh! Ten thousand? <laughs> Pshaw, what's a little cash among friends? If you're thinking of coming up to my treehouse, would you do me the honor of phoning first? <laughs> Check it out, this biddy has some mighty cool stuff. The last one she'll ever suspect is little old me. <laughs> Mr. Knockwurst is a creep and a crook. Here's where I get my house back. Hey, what do you think you... I mean, why are you trespassing in my tree height? You can drop the bad British accent, bub. I'm way ahead of you. Miss Meanie will have to believe me when I return her... <laughs> you ain't spoiling this for me. <laughs> Miss Meanie, 
I forewarned you that the cat was stealing from you. No! It was him! Him, Miss Meanie! That's the last straw. <laughs> I love the way you handled the riffraff, Miss Meanie. Meanie to throw socialite party for Nixon Nicknacker. Hmm. I bet old Nicky will be up to his tricks at a wingding like this. <laughs> Meanie might not let me back on her property, but like I always say, one good imposter deserves another. And then I said. So I said to the queen, it's a toilet brush, not a toothbrush. <laughs> Let's see what that freeloading treehouse wrecker's up to now. Gotcha. Spinach souffle bites? My sweet. <laughs> Mickey boy! Yeehaw! I've been wondering where my nephew Nicky was at. I'm Nicky's Uncle Knuckles of the Knoxville Neckmakers. You're not my Uncle Knuckles, you're an imposter. Huh? Nikki, what's come over you? <laughs> I mean, this is preposterous. I don't have an Uncle Knuckles, Miss Minnie. Ah, uh, he's always pretending we ain't kin. Yuck, 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 yuck. That's our little game, right, Sticky Nikki? Sticky Nikki? Sure, he got that nickname because everything he puts his hands on sticks to him. <laughs> Is this the old biddy you told me you got wrapped around your feather tips? What? what? <laughs> I tell you, dear lady, I've never seen this imposter in my life. Say, you got the time, bub? Uh, I need to help you. Uh, you and Yessie Yames. They've been robbed. Oh, shucks. That's too bad. But you know what we neckbackers do when bad times hit? We square dance. Alamin left, Alamin left, promenade. That's my pocket watch. And my brooch. <laughs> Woodpecker! It was you? How clever! <laughs> How could I ever thank you? Well, since you've been in such a generous mood lately, here's a short list of extras I think you could provide me at no additional rent. What? Oh, <laughs> no, you don't, Woodpecker! <laughs> you won't take advantage of my hospitality! You freeloading sponge bird! You walking moose wagon! Get back here! <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the most cutthroat game show on television, Extreme Island! I'm your host, Carl Castaway. And whoever survives this week's Castaway Challenge wins a positively volcanic prize package! <laughs> now let's meet our competitors! <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> so, tell us your names and tell us your games. Hi, I'm Woody Woodpecker. I like long naps on the beach, breakfast in bed, and... <gasps> I'm Ms. Meanie. I was a Navy SEAL and I take no prisoners. Now that's the kind of doggy dog spirit our viewers love on Extreme Island. Okay, the first challenge is food gathering. Ooh. Whoever stores up the biggest food supply and keeps the other from stealing it wins round one! Hey! Yo, Carl, where's my trailer? And, uh, where's all the snacks they have around TV show sets? I'm famished. F Finding food's part of the game. <laughs> <sighs> I've been... I've been over every inch of this island. There isn't a pizza parlor or a Hasty Mart anywhere. <gasps> Maybe I gotta start shopping at Mother Nature's supermarket instead. Huh? What? This is my coconut! 
coconut tree? It's survival of the fittest, not the dim-wittest woodpecker. <laughs> Carl wants to see dog eat dog, huh? I'll show him woodpecker eat. Ugh. What an amazing job! During my military training, I learned to find food in the most out of the way places. Well, 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 yeah. Mr. Woodpecker. Looks like Meanie's kicking your ever loving beach combing bum, don't it? <laughs> so, uh, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Competitors going at it, mono a mono. Now, our next competition is a real test of fortitude. Out of my way, woodpecker! That volcano of prizes is mine. She just put some kind of guest away hurting on you, hey, Mr. Woodpecker? Out of my way, Carl. This woodpecker makes wide turns. Oh, home sweet home! What an amazing shelter! Is this yours, Meanie? Why, uh... Yes! Yes, it is, Carl! Do I win? What do you got? Sunstroke? This is my house! Well, there you go. Looks like it is! Woody Woodpecker wins round two! But my house was here first! <laughs> well, looks like a tie game. And that means it's time for... The Gauntlet of Endurance! This obstacle course leads to the very top of our volcano of prizes. As a tiebreaker, whoever gets there first wins everything! What pecker? That does it! Out of my way! I'm taking this volcano just like I took pork chop hill back in the military. Do you want volcano? I'll give you volcano. Ah! Volcano erupting! Woohoo! I made it! I win! Woody Woodpecker, you've won everything in the volcano. up another explosive episode of Extreme Island. Tune in next time when our new co-champions will face off against one another on a frigid, very remote island off the coast of Alaska. What? Not a chance! Not this one, Becker. Wait, wait, come back. The, the, the audience loves you too. No, I mean, you, you, you get your own spin-off. <laughs> get off me! <laughs> Your Honor, you can't send me and Tweaky to jail! 
<laughs> Besides in which, we never took that lady's jewelry, Your Honor. The jewels jumped from her floor safe into our hands as we was taking a moonlight stroll past the mansion. Order, order in my court. Because of your obvious theatrical and storytelling talents, I'm sentencing you both to do community service. You'll stage a play at the youth center. And if you don't put on a good show, it'll be a thousand years hard labor. Wiki, we're gonna get society to pay us while we pay our debt to society. Additions today. Five bucks. Oh, we want to try out for your plane, mister, but we don't have any bucks. Then scram. But, boss, we don't have any other actors. And you know what the judge said. I know. I know what the judge said. All right, let's see. I'm putting on a kid's show here. It's, uh, it's called Peter Pan. Tweaky and me wrote it ourselves. You didn't write Peter Pan? Yeah, we saw that show here last month. Oh, <laughs> did I say Peter Pan? No, 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 no. I said Peter Pan Handler. Yeah, that's my play, Peter Pan Handler. <laughs> You're hired. Yay, we won't let you down. Where's the stage? Where's my dressing room? Boss, you just broke the first roll of the theater. What, never act with kids or animals? Never act with kids who are animals. Oh, we're sincerely doomed. Hey, snap out of it, Tweaky. There ain't nothing to produce in a kid's show. I'm gonna mount a production the likes of which this community ain't never seen. Or my name ain't Broadway Buzz Buzzard. These guys are strictly B-list. And they're gonna stink up this town. Unless we take matters into our own hands. <laughs> Act 9, scene 47 of Peter Panhandler. The Buzz and Tweaky story. This scene shows how me and Tweaky once had to bilk a sweet old lady out of a family heirloom jewels just to eat. Feel it, people. Feel it. Q splinter in my head. Ha ha! Yo ho ho! <laughs> Take that! Oh! What do you two think you're doing? There ain't no pirates in my life story. But the judge loves pirates. Yeah, everyone loves pirates. You gotta have pirates. Oh, the pain. That's what's wrong with Broadway today. There's too much catering to the public's whims. Well, not in my show. No dancing pirates, no singing cats. Oh, pfft. This is art. <laughs> Juice, splinter and not head. Super woodpeckers to the rescue! Cut, cut, cut! There ain't no flying woodpecker scene! Who's directing this show, you or me? Don't answer that. Now you play me and you play Tweaky. No pirates, no flying woodpeckers. This is drama. Play the scenes of my life so the audience can feel my pain. I feel his pain. Do you feel his pain? Oh, yeah. I definitely feel his pain. Oh, the theater's full, boss. You know what'll happen if they hate our play, Tweaky? What come midnight will be slow dancing on C Block with a gorilla named Bubba? No! We'll never get to Broadway! There's only one solution. In tonight's performance, the parts of Buzz Buzzard and Tweaky Delacky will be played by uh, themselves. You two gotta play all the other parts. Come on, Tweaky, it's showtime. <laughs> Peter Pan Handler, the Buzz and Tweaky story. 
as a baby buzzard, I was abandoned on the doorstep of two gentle pirates! Oh, pirates! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pirates! It's the most spectacular show I've ever seen. Okay, okay. Take us away, Judge. Not a chance, Buzz. You're a hit. We want you to direct the next show here, Director Buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do Death of a Salesman. <laughs> and we'll play the evil space aliens. Well, of course. Hey, wait a minute. There ain't no evil space aliens in Death of a Salesman. Ah! Out of my way, boss! Oh, help me, Tweaky! <laughs> Bart! I love golfing before the course gets crowded. Water hazard! <laughs> Professor Boydhound, a scientist who studies Boyds in the Amazon, is offering a thousand bucks for a rare red woodpecker. Ho ho! Hiya, friendo. Mind if I play through? Oh! <gasps> Why, hello, chum. <laughs> Clearly, you are a talented golfer of profound skill and aptitudes. Have you ever played the Amazon Back Nine? I've never even heard of the Amazon Back Nine, bub. Well, then this is your lucky day. Because I, Buzz Buzzard, of Buzz Buzzard's Air Ground and Anywhere Else Just Wanna Go Tours, have one seat left on my Amazon Golf Package. And I'm giving it away. Complimentary free-like. Free. We're breaking in a few new caddies down in the Amazon, and uh, we uh, need a few golfers of your professional stabilities to uh, uh, let us know what you think. Yeah. Wow. Free golf and my own caddy. Amazon, here we come. <laughs> now that's a water hazard. We don't want to spoil the rest of the course for years ahead of time. So long, suck it, yeah, Professor. Nice doing business with you. Hey, <laughs> now you are mine, my precious woodpecker. Oh, yes, into the cage so I can study you close up. <laughs> such lousy service. I'm reporting... Whoa! <laughs> Good day. Basil Birdhound here. Oh, my caddy. Okay. Hey, uh, grab the bag, Basil. That's Basil. Where's the first fairway, anyhow? <laughs> Stay still, you silly bird. <laughs> yes, now there'll be no more laughter when the name Basil Birdhound is mentioned. Oh, must you worth my old college professor when I return to England and show you my brilliant studies on this one-of-a-kind bird, you will see once and for all that I... Have bird seed on the brain. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, the hunt is on. Lost him like a bad habit. <laughs> Which way to civilization? What the? Basil Birdhound always gets his bird. Thank you, thank you, thank you! 
Get me out of this jungle, and I'll give you anything you want. I thought I got rid of you. have a cup of tea? Oh, yeah. I love tea. <laughs> it is the most civilized of all social practices, don't you agree? Uh, quite. I rank it right up there with... Uh... Get you off my tail, you freak! <laughs> Tell <-ho! laughs> So then I said to the judge, a stolen hat, but your honor, it's not a hat, it's shoulder pads! <laughs> you get it? Shoulder pads! Oh, that is rich! <laughs> well, if Basil wants to show his rare bird studies to old Professor Mustyworth, then I'll help him do just that. <laughs> About time you showed up, bird hound. A bit of a sticky wicket, this jungle, eh, what? Uh, Professor Mustyworth, you look different. Didn't you learn anything in my class? Why ever are you chasing some run-of-the-mill red woodpecker? What are you thinking, dog? Uh, 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 professor, uh, how, how did you, uh, I, I mean... When right outside your door is the extremely rare buzzardous stupidness. Look for yourself. <gasps> yes! I see him, Professor. Oh, yes! He must be the stupidest bird in the animal kingdom. <laughs> uh, so, uh, go make him your life's work. Yes, yes, I shall doggedly hound him to the ends of the earth. <laughs> I must have the basset! <laughs> 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 but Woody Woodpecker always gets the last laugh. <laughs> what a day! Nothing but fun in the sun and free fish fry. Oh boy, that's for me. You hear about the free fish? <laughs> Thanks for the free grub, bub. What you gonna eat tomorrow, sonny boy? I'll come back here for the free fish, same as today. Oh, sorry. Offer's only good one to a customer. Besides, I got a philosophy about fishing. I give you one fish and you eat for a day. But I teach you the fish and you can eat every day for the rest of your life. Twenty-five bucks a lesson. Ah, uh, why would I pay someone to teach me how to put a worm on a hook and snooze in a rowboat? Oh, an expert, eh? Why didn't you say so? Well, since you know all there is to know, I won't charge you a penny. But you catch old Lefty the Trout, biggest, smartest fish in these here waters, so I can hang him in my shop to do all business. And you can eat free at my stand whenever you like. Free food forever? Just for catching a stupid fish? Woohoo, boy! You're on, bub. I'll catch a few Z's, catch Lefty the Lunker, then head back to the bait shop to catch my free dinner. I'm telling you, Al, we gotta swim upstream together sometime. I know all the best spots around. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I gotta go. Some hotshot's trying to make a name for himself. Yep, it's always the same, isn't it? Thinking they got what it takes to catch old Lefty the Big Trout. Ciao. Let's do lunch sometime. <gasps> oh, woo! Come to Woody! <laughs> 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 
Let's see. Ten letter word for sucker. I got it. Woodpecker. Sucker is a woodpecker. Hey, what's the big idea? Next time, use something other than worms. I get a big appetite sport. <laughs> There's no fish that can outsmart a woodpecker on a mission. stuff and mount you over my mantelpiece down below. That does it. No fish lip wise guy's gonna... Hey, mayflies are a trout's favorite food. And that free fish fry at the bait shop is a woodpecker's favorite food. Yep, sometimes it takes a big bug to catch an even bigger bug. Mayflies, my favorite. Whoa! Now get up, you overgrown minnow. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> so long. See you next fishing season. I can't. Hey, what gives? Now that you know I'm not the big lunker you want to hang on the wall, you can let me go. Forget it. I got a date with free dinner for life. Oh, so sorry. This isn't the legendary lefty. Oh, no. No free meals for you, Woodbecker. What? I swear, it's your trout. Told you, sport. Now you're going to let me go? No how, no way! I want that free meal, and you're gonna get it for me. Got it? Uh. <laughs> Bucky, we gotta talk. Hi! Is it true there's a monster-sized trout in this lake? Monster trout are minnows compared to what I've caught. Why, just the other day, I caught... Yeah, so I got this great new gig. Oops, gotta go, Al. I'm getting a call on my other line. And to this day, no one's ever caught a bigger trap. Stick ah! right up. Give me hooks. I need plenty of bait. I want a bigger net. is a mess. Sure is hard work being lazy. I need a new life. Chickens? Farm? What's going on down there? Mmm, nothing to do but relax. All the food you can eat? That's it. 
I'll be a professional chicken. Gosh, what are you doing away from your nest? Never you worry. Mama will get your back so you can lay some nice fresh eggs. Lay eggs? Now what would I want to do that for? So you can make your quota. Quota? Yes, and once you've made your quota, you get your reward. Now get to work! Reward? Oh boy, that's for me. Now, where can a fella lay his hands on some eggs around here? Eggs, eh? Why, I'm gonna... Find it! She's it! She's it! She's it! She's it! What's going on? Well, a chicken has laid a million eggs. She is taken away to the door, where she enters into joy and eternal leisure. Joy? Eternal leisure? Anyways, as I was saying. Okay, okay, break it up, break it up. Get back to work, you lazy bums. <laughs> hey, where are all your eggs? Why aren't you meeting your quota? Uh, uh, because, uh, because I'm too hungry to lay eggs. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? What's cooking, Chief? You got some hungry wood I mean chickens down here. Gravel and quartz. Good for a chicken's gizzard. What's this handle for, Chief? Pull it to get your meal. He's lying! It's a trick! It's time to put an end to the slavery and make a stand. 
They can take our eggs, but they'll never take our freedom. Get her, girls. Ready? Aim. Fire! <laughs> Here's this week's profits, boss. How are the chickens doing today? Chicken, for he's a jolly good chicken. Back, 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 back,